Hey, how's everybody doing today? December 8th, about noon time. Just uh, out at the property. Had a good time this week. Um, took a, took the week off of work and uh, installed the wood stove in the uh, in the cabin. My father came out. It was his birthday. It was awesome to spend some time with him. He came out a few days. Um, got the stack up. So this is a dwarf stove. Um, tinywoodstoves.com is where we picked it up nice kit good uh, website good instructions um, very helpful very responsive folks so this is a stack uh, we went a through the wall setup um, had a little bit of um, I wouldn't say issues but just the struggle was getting the uh, spacing from on those blocks right here on this bracket um, we were going to put the bracket facing down, but uh, then it would have gotten in the way of the wall flange, and we didn't want to mess with that. Flipped it around. I don't think there's, I know there's nothing wrong with that from an engineering standpoint because I am one. Um, spaced it out with some uh, treated uh, two by six. Um, but yeah, that's uh, anything stainless you see or shiny, that's all stuff that came with the kit. So, uh, good stuff. Um, still need to figure out what I'm supposed to do with this gap here. They're going to call me back. Um, I just shoved some rope, uh, rope seal or uh, furnace gasket in there for now. Um, there's probably a boot or something that goes on there. Not a big deal. Um, probably something I missed on the order, honestly. So, just ran it last night for the first time. The instructions say to run it outside the first time. It's cold out. We don't want to mess with that, but uh, we just opened all the windows in here. Um, ran it for three hours, smoking quite a bit. Eh, not quite a bit, but, you know, you wouldn't want to be um, inside um, an enclosed space when you're doing that. It's definitely, you know, definitely stinky. It can't be good for you. Um, this is an unfinished building, so we weren't too concerned with burning it for the first time inside. We have a lot of work to do in here yet, so. Um, but yeah, this is it from the inside. We uh, took their uh, half-inch uh, cement board recommendations um, so we could get this thing closer to the wall. So then on top of that, we went with the uh, cement board, and then I put a uh, metal um, heat, sh heat deflector on the back as well. So there's a one inch gap behind here and uh, gets a little warm, but I mean, it's doing, it's exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, you can actually feel the, can't, uh, it's hard to explain, but there's a gap at the bottom. So air is cooler, air is washing up the back side of the wall, keeping that back wall panel um, cool as well. Um, you can do that against a regular wall. If, uh, I'm not going to give you any of those specifications. That's all in their instructions. Um, that's all something that you need to read and uh, make your assessment on once you get your stove, if that's the, what you're going to do. Um, I would most certainly look at the Tiny Wood Stove um, website. Um, this is the 5KW version. This is the biggest uh, Tiny Wood Stove they have, at least in this lineup. So really happy with it. Um, I really can't wait to get the rest of this building done and, and sit and and uh, enjoy this thing a little bit more. But uh, fired it up this morning. It's 22 degrees outside. It knocked the chill off in here uh, to the point where I'm not seeing my breath. So um, I'm sure, well, it's been running for three hours now. Um, and I'm just going to let it burn out because i got to get out of here pretty quick. But uh, I'm sure once we get here and get working... Um, Get this thing lit in the, in the morning, we'll be able to work well into the night um, in a really comfortable spot. You know, figure uninsulated building and it knocked the chill off that well. Um, I suppose if we were in here working, you know, light it at 7 a.m. and get to work at 9 or so and deal with a little bit of chilliness by the end of the day, keep this thing running, it should be super comfortable in here. Um, next steps on this cabin, well, now that we have heat and we can work in here through the winter, um, we've got to get some insulation and electrical in, and then uh, once we do that, uh, you know, siding and everything else. So there's going to be a bathroom over in this corner, um, a little kitchenette uh, L here, 
with a fridge there and hopefully a pantry. Um, but yeah, we've got a, a shower stall in there that we're going to put in and a toilet. Um, we're not going to put a sink in there. We're just going to use the sink in the kitchen to wash our hands after we use the bathroom. Um, no sense in the extra plumbing in my opinion, but, uh, yeah, it's a nice setup. Um, trying to remember the name of the place we got this um, dang it Midwest structures we got this uh, um, cabin from Midwest structures out of Peru Nebraska um, super happy with it so far um, good build quality had some options um, we put that uh, put those windows up top and and uh, change the roof pitch on that side so we can get some uh, get some sunset uh you know golden hour light coming in um at night every night so but yeah this is uh this is what i did on my my week off i got another week off here in a month so i'm gonna hopefully get out here and get some wiring done but uh watch out for that uh you know construction sites are dangerous but yeah this is our setup for now and and uh, looking forward to keeping keeping going on it. Uh, wife and kids are all excited, and it's a great family project. And so yeah, friends, uh, have a great day. Um, God bless.